Hi. Today I thought I'd do a little video on this Brennan brake bracket for disc brakes for the Willys Jeep. So I already did the rear end and put the bracket on there. But what I realized when I was putting the bracket on the front, I want to do this without shutting this off. If you take this bracket, so you got that one over there. See where the, it's, this hole is almost centered with the kingpin, I guess you want to call it. Close to. But if you take this bracket and you go to put it on there, see how it's down? It's down there. It ain't lined up with that. And if you rotate it up to hit the next set of holes, it's too far. So you could roll this bracket over and then your brakes end up in the right spot, almost in line with that kingpin, just like it is on the other side. Well, it's actually lined up with this bolt close to. But then it made me start looking at this rear end I did, and it's all done. See where the bracket is? And the rear end is facing in the right orientation. So I have this bracket on here. See how low it is. So then I got to thinking, well, if that's the case there, I actually have, that's lined up with them holes. That's where that disc brake's got to go. Yeah, I got to take that one back apart. Luckily, it's only them few bolts. It shouldn't mess up my end play and all that because I have all my spacers in there. But I thought I'd just show that if you're putting them on there. Yeah, that's too low. Huh, never thought about it when I was sticking them on there. But I got them both on there wrong. <laughs> so at least I'm consistent. Well, I'll be pulling them ones off, putting them on here. But I do have all my studs installed, you know, from the back out. Not bolts anymore going in. And I did put this together. This is definitely, check this, but it, it's 12 pounds to turn that. You do it 12 pounds before you put your felts and rubber in and everything. That's just white lithium grease on that part. But there it is. That's what I'm doing today. I'll get these. And I'll finally get these finished up. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to throw the rotors on and stuff until I get it into the, into the frame. But just a short video on these Brandon brake brackets. They seem pretty nice. Uh, yeah, to give you the spacers, nuts, everything you need. All right, so now everything's on, painted. Here's that one right there. I don't know about these studs up there. I might have to cut some of them off. They might be sticking out too far, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But all the brake brackets are now in the right orientation on these rear ends. Oh, I rebuilt these. Craigslist style, I painted them. So it's uh, totally rebuilt. But anyway, we just got to get these uh, keyways in. Get these keyways in. Crank these things down to like a hundred and some pound. You know they are because they're hell to get off of there. But uh, yeah, here we go. Now they all look like you're in the right spot. I am going to have to weld a bracket on here for the brake hose. Somewhere on here. But that's no big deal. There we are. But here's all my leftover stuff. Oh, this is my uh, axle remover. Slide it on, put the nut on. 
tap it till the axles pull free. And there's all them nine and 11 inch drums. I think I'm gonna put them on Craigslist for free. Cause I'll never ever use them things again. But what else did I get? Oh, see there's no studs. I finally got a box of studs, all new studs. There they are. I got these and I got, uh, which some people don't like, I got half inch wheel spacers and all new rims, four rims right there. And here, let's go in here. You got those. Here's the wheel spacers right here. But back in here, which you probably might not be able to see, but here, let's do this here. Get over here. Furnace kicks on every time you come in. 33 inch tires. Look at them things. They're freaking monsters. But anyway, we'll be putting them on. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to regret this. But I went over to uh, Harbor Freight. Because I have no plans to drive this thing on the street. So I ain't worried about balancing the tires. You know what's in that box? That's a Harbor Freight manual tire changer i got the anchors to bolt that thing to the floor got a whole bunch of them here so i'll be might mess around with that today if i get bored with doing stuff with this jeep but i really want to get these new leaf springs and shackles all put in and get this thing cleaned up and rolled out here that's it. Uh, thanks for watching the video.